So are you ready to get this thing going? Yeah, Love Dare, day one. Yep, Love Dare, day one. I am Kendall. This is... Chelsea. Uh, this if, is Chelsea. If all goes well, we'll be the Gervais family, right? Yes, um, because I will say this. Complete transparency throughout this whole thing. Yeah. I have complete celibacy in this house. How Painful. Many, how many weeks Painful. now? Painful. It's been some weeks since the quarantine. I don't want to talk about it. Since before the quarantine. No. I don't, I don't Quarantine. I am not. Jesus is mad at me. I ain't doing nothing else to make him more angry. Yeah. It's been painful. Not nothing. Not just celibacy. Nothing. It ain't been painful. You haven't even asked not once. I'm trying to plug on headphones so she can't. She can't hear anything we're saying. So don't think that we're talking about bad stuff like that in front of her. Oh yeah. So hey, Kendall Gervais, Kendall Lane. Chelsea. Chain reactions. Um, we're going to be doing the love dare. I'm doing it with my beautiful fiance. And the love dares. It's a challenge for couples. Yep. It's like a daily thing. We're going to do our best to commit to do this daily. Yep. I mean, seeing that we're in quarantine mode, we should be able to pull it off. And uh, we'll hope for the best. So. Hope for the best, because right now it is a struggle. You think it's, it's not it's bad. Kind of, it's no. pretty freaking bad. What's how? We don't even like really fight like. So what's what's our relationship at right now? On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna say I'm coming in. We're at a seven and a half. I, I was gonna say three. I okay. was gonna say a three. Okay. We don't talk. You ignore me. Um, I've been trained to do that. Okay. <laughs> um so Is we're gonna working? try to yeah we're gonna right. try to okay. it's not and somebody james shared it for us into halo so all right day one <clears throat> i remember day one because we've tried to do love dare like three times now so hopefully once this will be the third time that we try to do it we did it once by ourselves we recorded it once and then okay this will be the third. oh that one we okay so, third time's a charm. Let's pray. Because if not, once quarantine is over, who knows? I'm out. Hey. <laughs> as long as he's still paying the bills, I ain't going to complain. Day one, love is patient. Love is kind. Hello. I think that's day two, right? Okay. Um, hello. Um, hello. That's our baby. So, either at the end of this, we will get married and once again be... What, fornicating? What's the real word that you use? Whatever. Or, Making love? Yeah, she's got her headphones on. Yeah, I was just kind of debating if she should... I can hear she, you. she won't go. Did you <laughs> she, just get her set up in the... I did, yeah, nice. I did. I had her set up watching Lily and the Princess or something, and here she is. So, day one. We'll also do the parent one next for the parents that are interested. Yeah, we're going to need to do that. We after definitely this. need to do the parent one. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Ephesians 4, 2. Yeah. Love works. It is life's purest and most powerful motivator and has far greater depth and meaning than more people realize. It gives courage to a coward. Wisdom to a fool. It always does what is best for others and can empower us to face the greatest problems. Mom. Love can motivate a man to put away childish things, provide for his family, and take passionate stands for what he believes in, like crossing an ocean to fight for his country. Love can drive a woman to connect emotionally in relationships. Comfort the hurting around her, protect her children, and extend her hand in kindness to those in need. We are born with a lifelong thirst for love. We are. Our hearts desperately need it like our lungs need oxygen. Love changes our motivation for living. Relationships become meaningful with it. No marriage is successful without it. Love is built on two pillars that best define what it is. Those pillars are patience and kindness. All other characteristics of love are extensions of those two attributes. And that's where your dare will begin. With patience. Something I have zero nope. of. No patience. 
when she asks a question, if I don't like respond like before she's even done asking. Mm-hmm. Kendall's, she's the same way now, too. I can't see me. You will. It's behind, baby. We're sorry. It's lagging a little bit. That one's... You're in there. Behind it. You have to answer her right away, too, because of me, I feel. So, I, yeah, I guess I it rubs off. I can my face. Look over there. Look right there, Kendall. Yeah, you're in there, Kendall. Oh, oh there's my girl. Okay. There you go. Her trucker. Okay. I gotcha. Oh, it went way back here now. Okay. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I have no patience. Let me read. Are we done reading? I'm a better reader. No. And Daddy's not. Okay. Love inspires you to become a patient person. When you choose to be patient, you respond in a positive way to a negative situation. You are slow to anger. You choose to have a long fuse instead of a quick temper. Rather than being restless and demanding, loves help you settle down and begin extending mercy. I'm, I'm doing it. I was trying to... She doesn't know what she's doing. You're wonderful. Disrespectful. Do you hear, do you hear this? You know she did it on purpose. She didn't do it on purpose. When she dropped it, it came okay. unplugged. She All still right. has them on her head. Oh, Lord Jesus. You know what? We should have started out in prayer. After yeah, I'm reading this, that is, we are going to, we are going to pray because Lord, I need you to love him through me, Father God, because <laughs> right now I have the hardest time loving him, God. Allow you to speak through us in this. Allow you to move through us in this, Father God. I ask that you change our hearts, God. Soften both of our hearts, Lord, please, because we are so cold and we need you, Jesus. Or we will not make it. Amen. Amen. We will start out in prayer to start with from now coming forward, though. Where was I? (laughs) Rather than being restless and demanding, love helps you settle down and begin extending mercy to those around you. No one likes to be around impatient people. Impatience overreacts in angry, foolish, regrettable ways. But the irony of anger toward a wrong is that it spawns new wrongs of its own. Anger almost never makes things better. In fact, it usually generates additional problems. It will trample on long-term relationships while reacting to short-term mishaps. But patience stops problems in their tracks. More than biting your lip, more than clasping your hand over your mouth, Patience takes a needed deep breath. It clears the air. It stops foolishness from whipping its scorpion tail all over the room. Patience is a choice to control your emotions rather than allowing your emotions to control you. And it shows discretion instead of returning evil for evil. It also brings an internal calm to an external storm. If your spouse offends you, do you quickly retaliate? Retaliate? Absolutely. If your spouse offends you... Do you quickly retaliate, or do you stay under control? Do you find that anger is your emotional default when treated unfairly? If so, you are spreading poison rather than medicine. Hmm. I do that. You do quickly retaliate? Mm Mm-hmm. So do you, though. We both do that. But I... In what ways? Because I feel like we... we need to read some and just break it down. Because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, like, listening to you read, I, I don't comprehend everything. As long as, I, I don't know, that's just how I am. Because you don't comprehend I have to, like, much I'm to just saying with. I have to read it. And even when I read it and see it, I don't, it's just maybe I'm a learning defect or something. I definitely that's think what you're you getting have a learning to. defect. Yep, you definitely slow. definitely have a learning, I tell them that a lot. Right on the short bus. That's, uh, that's my fate right there. If you are spreading poison... Rather than medicine. Honestly, I felt like the last few days we've been doing well. We've know. been doing better the last two days. But I feel like we will we'll do good for a couple of days. And then psh, it's like a atomic bomb that blows up. And all that hard work just goes right out the window. And something have, gets I mean, broken. I know it's been like that in the past. But honestly, I haven't seen much of that lately. I feel like we've been in a decent... Space. I mean, we've always had problems having conversations or like doing teamwork kind of things, like doing things together. Mm -hmm. Either one of us 
it's um it's either I'm in a good mood trying to make something make it work, and then you're either upset with me for something, or you're trying to make some effort yeah. and do something and then I'm in a funk for whatever reason. I agree with that. And it's not always necessarily what we're going through together. It could just be personally, you know, like Yeah. So if you were to take off its masks, you'd see that anger is often an emotional reaction flowing out of our own ignorance, foolishness or selfishness. Patience, however, makes us wise. It says, help me understand, instead of, how dare you. It doesn't rush to judgment, but puts our feelings on pause so that we can fully listen to what the other person is saying. Yeah. What you don't do. I don't hear what anyone's saying. Like, it may be selfish, or it it just kind of how I am and I need to break out of it, but like, not everything draws my attention. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. I could be but. in my underwear trying to talk to him. And he ignores me. Completely ignores me. Completely 100% ignores me. I don't do it on purpose. It's because I have like a one track mind. If I'm focused on, on something, it's just what all my attention goes to. It's, it's usually because I'm trying to do something that I know nothing about, have no experience mm-hmm. with. I'm always going against the grain trying experience. to learn stuff. So I get like in my own zone. I'm sure people can relate to that. You. I love you too, baby. Thank you. I, I want to be right there You too. will, baby. It takes, it's, it's a little bit behind. It doesn't rush to judgment, but puts our feelings on pause so that we can fully listen to the other person saying... It stands in the doorway where anger is clawing to burst in, but waits to see the whole picture before determining its best response. The Bible says, He who is slow to anger has great understanding, but he who is quick-tempered exalts folly. All right, it's your turn. So yeah, basically he's like, think before you react. And uh, I think that's important for anyone. If you're... Talking with somebody and a conversation's getting heated or a situation is escalating, like it was good to take a second to think before you act. I mean, especially in relationships. Yeah, I know that lately I've been trying to just not react, to just stop because I get real reckless and real out of control. When I go, I don't stop. With my mouth. Yeah, her words. Um, they're very hurtful. Like, uh, I just don't, I don't know how to stop. I get yeah, angry. Something, don't. something sets me off and I just, I just can't stop. I keep going. It's kind of a lose lose, too. Because, like, just imagine if you verbally attack someone, right? And then you, and during that verbal attack, you're just pointing out every one, uh, that person's flaws, right? You just completely break them down into nothing. And then you'll come back for round two, like... I don't, I wouldn't say all of your flaws. I say what you're not doing right. Yeah, that's that's good enough for me. Basically, you're doing this wrong, not, you're not doing that yeah. right, and then break the person down into pieces and then come back like, hey, why aren't you completely motivated getting... <laughs> you want to be my friend again? <laughs> like, that didn't just happen. Like, oh. I mean, fetal position, you know? No. So. No, you don't get fetal position. You get breaking position where you... You like to get yeah. angry and break stuff. Well, you, I mean, I feel like you're allowed to break your own stuff. You don't break your own stuff. That barn door I built from scratch. That was like one of the only things you've broken of your own. It's yeah. usually all my stuff that gets broken in. Yeah. Never replaced. We both have broken things of each other's, so. Oh, my God. I broke a MacBook she when we like first a, met, okay? She's the reason why I never made it in the rap game. Oh, yeah, guys, that's... <laughs> she broke my computer. And it still this day never has replaced it. And uh, you know what? Now we have two MacBooks now. This one's obsolete, and that one's hers, and I'm not allowed to use it. I mean, I'm joking, like you know what I'm saying. Obviously, he was going to be a rapper, y'all. Yeah, let's, I mean, I was. Let's continue. Destined for greatness. Hush. I'm joking. Baby, I think the whole world knows that yeah, was a joke. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I love it. Okay. Where were we? 
As sure as lack of patient will turn your home into a war zone. The practice, I hate that laugh. That's that, a, that, was a real, that, was, that was a real laugh. <laughs> she thinks I <laughs> fake laugh. That was, <laughs> That's the controlling that we're talking about. It is. Though. I I am. I got a, a I got freak. a laugh in a certain tone. No, you don't have to. I just know your fake laugh. Like when you're at church or when you're around people, that it's like you know you, you do a fake laugh. If someone says, if Kendall ever does it, <laughs> <laughs> he he, it's not really funny. He's faking it. Was that a fake? That laugh? was a real laugh. Oh okay. So I gotta put more effort into. My, I gotta put a little bass into yeah. it for it to be a real laugh. Yep. Okay. I just feel like if somebody says something remotely funny, I mean, you can smile. Find, find entertainment in it, okay. and you know. All right, let's keep it moving. We're gonna be here all night. I mean, that's kind of the point. Since it's supposed to be a race, a quick race. It's supposed to be a marathon. He knew that's all what. day that I wanted to do this. Mm-hmm. All day. Yeah. I made him dinner. He's great. he's laying. I know they were there. I he was gonna call today. I was, he uh, was in bed, <laughs> eating his dinner, watching Avengers in the dark. Nice. And then comes down to the office and starts shaving. Well, clean up, you know. You should have did that when you first, when I was getting ready myself, at five o'clock. That's all really I'm saying. No That's all get... I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, okay. let's continue. Okay. A hot-tempered man stirs up strife, but the slow to anger calms a dispute. Statements like these from the Bible, Book of Proverbs, are clear principles with timeless relevance. 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 Patience is where love meets wisdom, and every marriage needs that combination to stay healthy. Patience is where love meets wisdom. So who's the wisdom and who's the patience? We're neither. Okay. We're neither. We're really screwed right now. Because you have no wisdom. I think, okay, no, let's go. I'm the wisdom and you're the patience. But then again, you're not very patient with me. I don't know. We're, we're screwed right now. That's why we really have got to finish this. Okay. Love helps give your spouse permission to be human. It understands that everyone fails. Daily. So, when they make a mistake, it patiently chooses to give them more time than they deserve to correct it. Patience gives you the amazing ability to hold on during the tough times in your relationship rather than bailing out under the pressure. So test yourself. How long is your fuse? How quickly do you adopt a bad attitude? Are you willing to wait with a smile? Can your spouse count on having a patient wife or husband to deal with? Can she know that locking her keys in the car will be met with your calm understanding rather than a demeaning lecture that makes her feel childish? Can he know that being found watching a football game won't automatically invite a loud-mouthed laundry list of better ways he could be better spending his time? What would the tone and volume of your home be like if you tried this biblical approach? See that no one repays another for evil with evil. But always seek after that which is good for one another. I'm going to repeat that. See that no one repays another with evil for evil. But always seek after that which is good for one another. That's from 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 15. So in other words, what does that mean to you? Like, if you come at me with a short fuse, I don't need to come back at you with a short fuse, or vice versa. We, uh, we, we, so, yeah, we struggle with yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. We, let's talk about that. Okay. Because if I'm popping off about something, But I I'm feel like you don't you ever up. pop off first. Well... It's always me that pops off first. You are just a go with the flow. Everything's good. See, that's do what patience I do. right there. That's the good man right there. I said you're, you're more patient than me, but... You... I don't know. I just don't... What I'm saying, what I'm trying to get to is you'll come at me sideways or whatever you need it because you want to sleep till 12 o'clock in the afternoon every day. I got day. nothing to do. And I like you can make you know, barn doors, that's tables, That's what depression looks like the... right there. I'm Stay depressed. Stay up late... Binge watching, 
Netflix? I'm depressed. Because okay? you got nothing to do the next day. He has stuff to do. You've already been verbally broken down by He's your fibbing. significant other. I cook just... dinner every day. I do Oh, everything. I'm grateful for that, for sure. I mean, so... But... Are you, though? Yeah. Because it, it doesn't feel like it. I think I, I'm grateful. We're struggling. You now. took me right off where we were trying to go. You said, let's we're talk really, about we're it. We're not really struggling like she's trying to... I, what do you Maybe think? she is... But, um, he is. He can't stand me. Let's be... Well, I don't like just being verbally attacked and broken down like Well, you. I don't like a man who sleeps till noon every if, day. If I'm choosing... I mean, listen. I'm self-employed, right? And the freedom in that is... That to, means we ain't never going to have nothing, <laughs> be nothing, do nothing, go nothing with you sleeping mm. till noon every day. That is I, so I mean, unattractive. I don't know how And to you wonder it. why I t- I, we've been celibate for... This long. I get all my orders done when I say I'm going to do it. And uh, so, I mean, I can see I don't sleep in that late. You should do. I, the, after the main 10, problem after. Is me staying up late watching shows and then, you know, sleeping until 9, 10 o'clock. That is a whoa. Unless it's nine, a Saturday. 9, 10, 9 o'clock. Or the Sabbath day. Kendall, uh, 9 o'clock. When was the last time you woke up at 9 o'clock if you didn't I was to up work? today early. No, you're. Yeah, actually, I really was. So, and I had nothing to do up up at the crack of dawn. And what crack did I get done? Dawn. I got crack nothing done. I had nothing dawn. to do. Crack of dawn. He could have. He had an order for a table. No, what I, what the thing is, it'll be like a hurricane coming through, and she acts like I need to be outside weed eating and mowing the yard or something. Like I, that, that just doesn't happen. It's not how it works. But, we ain't never gonna be nothing. This is our life forever. Yeah, I know. We can't work together. We can't complete projects together. And I'm talking about you getting up and going to do something for yourself. I when I before this quarantine, I worked every single day, sun up to sundown. The perfect proverbs wife, other than my mouth. Hi, baby. Which where we leave off? What do they say? A woman's mouth will make a man want to sleep on the roof in a rainstorm. How does that go? What would you like, my love? I tried feeding you four times before we started this. What would you like to eat? I don't know, Kendall, because you took it away from me. Yeah, it's my turn to read. I got it. What do you want to eat, sweetie? Chips. Chips? I mean... Well, you know where they're at, baby. Right there in the closet? You gonna go get them for yourself? No. You gonna make Mommy do it? Because everybody makes Mommy do it. I mean, I'll gladly go do it. You will not do nothing. I just feel like she should go do it for herself. She can't reach them. They're in the middle shelf. I, I put them right on the edge. Why are we on a bench? We have a whole house, three floors, and we're on a bench. So we're going to wait for this right now. I have to get my daughter chips. And you're going to get mad about the noise. Talk about me. I'm, I'm practicing patience right now, baby. Shots at people, especially if they're not here to defend themselves. So. Oh my word, boy! Few of us do. Here you go, sweetheart. Few of us do patience very well. I don't feel like that wasn't spelled right. Few of us are patient. Where are you? Few of us do. We do patience. Few yeah. of us do patience very well, and none of us does it naturally. But wise men and women will pursue it as an essential ingredient to their marriage relationships. That's a good starting point to demonstrate true love. This love dare journey is a process, and for the first thing you must resolve to do is to demonstrate patience on a daily basis. Think of it as a marathon, not a sprint, but it's a race worth running. Since we should not stop loving, (laughs) we would never stop showing patience. It should be refreshed and supply every morning as the sun rises. You are an awful reader. It, it does I'm not just really, I'm just, just, I know I'm she's distracted eating. by the I know, chewing. By the chewing. I have a problem with I, chewing, but what am I supposed to do? Tell my daughter she can't eat? No, I just feel like we should have did this at a different time, but okay. Well, let's just keep pushing forward, baby. Oh, you know, I didn't want to expect it. 
I mean, how, how deep can we this? really get into this with her right here this? in the room? She's all got headphones on. Did you finish yeah, this page? I don't stand behind. All right, yeah. <clears throat> Today's dare. Woo! We made it to the end. The first part of this dare is fairly simple. You would think, right? Although love is communicated in a number of ways, our words often reflect the condition of our hearts. For the next day, resolve to demonstrate patience and say nothing negative to your spouse at all. That won't be a problem for me. If the temptation arises, choose not to say anything. It is better to hold your tongue than to say something you'll regret. That won't be a problem for me either. Because <laughs> he doesn't talk. Yeah. He ignores me. It's going to be a problem for me. I'm going to go ahead and say that. It is going to uh, be a problem. A big one. We'll see. But I'm going to try. I'm going to do it. I'm going to just... I, I don't know. I feel like I've been doing great. I'll be honest. Since I've made the most money in these last what does that two weeks. Because I've been making moves getting things done. Good. You can pay my part of the mortgage because I haven't been making moves. I've been quarantined. So keep on bragging about Mr. Baller Baller, and you well, can. Well, I don't know, you know. Exactly. I ain't make. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I was reminded. I'm about to clip that out. Uh, you didn't need to say that at all, like. Well, like, no, because I don't know. Because you were just like saying I'm being lazy. But it can't, okay, see, I'm that's sleeping thing. in. I'm I not making moves, but like literally, I'm doing very well right now. I feel like it don't matter if you got ten grand, twenty grand, a hundred grand in the bank. You, a grown ass man, should not be sleeping till 10, 11, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm getting, I'm very passionate uh, about that. Know. I'm very passionate about that. I think a grown man should not be sleeping till 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night on the weekdays when you can be out getting stuff done. During the quarantine. Anytime. Okay. Okay. I mean, okay. Yards mowed, weed eated, everything's blown off, you know, all the projects the are caught up. There's no more permits really for the load. Should, should we turn this camera around? Wow. I'm saying there's definitely things that could be done. I mean, that's most of her toys and stuff. And your stuff that you've recently put into my office turned into storage shit. Most of... Okay, okay. You know what, guys? I got some clothes right there. You know what, guys? He's yeah. like completely... You're completely ignoring... Are you just serious? You guys, uh, either way, I don't care if you I, she, I feel like you want me to be find like a slave around no, the house, man. No, just like always just chisel away at some rock in the corner, like Wash the ball cars. and chain, sludge hammering, uh, like clean an inmate the, or something. Clean the gutters. Those Dude, days, are done. we don't even have gutters. Whatever. Um, okay. Basically, so. That chewing is about to. I know, I don't like it. I don't, that's okay. So that's how you know. I don't like the way so you chew. So my choices in life made it to where I created distance away from my family, my father mainly. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> and anytime I was around, I was in trouble and causing mayhem. So um, that was just recently, I, I bought my own work shed, big old shed. I'm starting to get tools and stuff, and you know, slowly but surely, man enough. You know, so. What does that have got anything well, so to do? With I need a pressure washer. For like things that you're asking me to do, I don't have the tools to do. But I, what a, I'm saying that is. That was a, a soft flex, y'all. He is a, once again trying to flex. What I'm saying is, I'm getting the tools that I need to be able to handle all the stuff. Like, I'm not in a position to be a homeowner. I don't have. Uh, trust me. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have that stuff yet. But I, it definitely is what I'm aiming towards, so. You get okay, that? So continue to sleep. You'll never be a homeowner. Sleep until 10, 11, 12 o'clock every day. Okay. I'm going to start yeah. waking up at the crack of dawn. No, we and won't. we're going to. No, we won't. We will. no, we'll, we we'll see. No, we'll do we it as an experiment. We'll see how much that changes around here, okay? Right. So I'm going to set the alarm for what, what time you want me up. I don't care. Six. Uh, uh, six. six. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you really? Yeah, because I'm going to be just. Wide open, no, crack of dawn, and just start. What do you mean? You're gonna wake her up at six. No, 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 but I'm gonna be making sure you're waking up. No, man, leave me alone. <laughs> Seriously, Lord Jesus. What's get us crazy part this. is she sleeps in right next to me and then wants to try and make a point out of it. I so never got to sleep. We in. did it today. She slept till nine o'clock. She just started sleeping till nine o'clock. 19, 11, 12. I've never slept. We all wake up around the same time. No, we don't. Why are it, you it, lying? 
Like, well, I mean, I might be like 30, 45 Kendall! minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, we're never going to make it. We're never going to make it. We have got to be completely transparent. I am a controlling, psycho B word. Yeah, and I don't want to do or He's talk. He's lazy. I don't want to do or talk about anything that I'm not interested in. Lazy, I guess that's where I'm at. Selfish and ignores me. Okay. And I'm controlling psycho B word. Yeah. All right. Is that? That's us. You think that that's your take on it? Yeah. Okay. But I love you, and I think that there was a part in here about how patience it doesn't give up. I have stood by you through the worst of the worst that nobody else would ever stand by somebody. I think that shows my patience. Yeah, I agree. And I feel like that that's one of the only reasons why we're still together. <laughs> I think that's the only reason why you're still with me is because I've... Um, Oh, because I'm honoring. Oh, yeah, remember yeah. I used to he say used to that? Say, he used to say that to I was me. like, man, I, I, I was like a terrible boyfriend for this many years, so now I'm going to give you this many years back of being a good boyfriend. And then I'm going to leave you. If it, Oh, I'm going to leave you if it doesn't yeah, turn blossom into yep. something. If you don't yeah. change after these years of me being clean, I'm going to leave you. Yeah, so basically we're here we are multiple years later. and. Neither one know. of us has made progress. Okay. I ain't well, I ain't locking him here. So girls, you can try, but I promise you'd bring him back after two weeks. <laughs> First week you might love him. After the second, you'd be knocking on my door begging me to take him back. Yeah. In high school, I was the man, homie. Yeah, remember that? It's like a little thing. So I think we did well for our first night, right? Yep. I mean, on my end, the way I'm doing it is going to be edited for the Chain Reaction channel on YouTube. And then at the same time, we're doing it live for Facebook and Halo. Yep. So we're good. Anything yeah. else? No. So let's just recap real quick. If anyone that's doing this with us, you know, unless you're just watching to make fun of us and pick part of our relationship. That's perfectly fine. Then I guess do whatever you want. But let's just real quick. What's the goal for tomorrow? Don't say anything negative to each other. All day. No. Nothing she negative. She is running a train on those chips. <laughs> she is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she has no idea what life is right uh, now. Oh, my. Headphones on, tablet gone. We're going to try to do this maybe when she does her nap, you know, right? She almost never takes a nap, though. She did today. Oh, I know. Oh, look at you strangling me on Facebook. Uh, I know. Bring People up some charges. Down. 